All right, I thought I'd do something different here instead of the uh, typical PowerPoint to uh, complete this assignment. Creating a visual representation that reveals my understanding of the leadership theories and their application to the educational environment. On the screen here, I got the Michigan standards for the preparation of school principals. And my understanding of the uh, theories of educational leadership um, and the motivation behind these theories, I thought it would be good to connect the theory to the standard by way of just a simple line across the screen as I go through these each. So my understanding of transformational leadership has to do with um, helping people help themselves. And this touches on um, standards three and five. And I think it touches on standards three and five because in order to pay attention to the individual staff members, you have to act with integrity and you have to be fair. Um, communicating the high expectations, obviously um, good management of the organization uh, and um, planning is gonna be important for transformational leadership. Um, so it's important that the people who are um, working underneath you, your followers, as they say a lot of times in the text, uh, understand that you are structuring the, um, the changes that are taking place and you communicate them um, effectively. Total quality management, the one that's more business-based, I, uh, I figure that it's um, important to have a, a solid vision with total quality management. Let me uh, choose a different color to uh, connect these so they don't get too mixed up. Um, have a different vision, or excuse me, have a, have a very clear vision, and um, to be able to articulate and communicate that vision, it's important that um, if you're helping the institution that you have a, a clear goal in mind as to where you see that institution going in the future. Um, I also see this connecting to the management of the organization, obviously, because it's one of those ones that's based more in the uh, business um, uh, field, and it's a you know change agency, teamwork, um, continuous improvement, um, eradication of short-term goals. So again, management of the organization becomes increasingly important for uh, total quality management leadership. Um, change the color again here and get into servant leadership, helping people directly. Uh, this is in stark contrast to total quality management, which is a larger look at the whole institution and helping the whole institution versus individual people. And so it touches on a couple of different standards. I would say that it touches on standard two because you got to know the culture of the, the place you're going to be utilizing this type of leadership theory. Um, it touches on standard four because you're going to want to collaborate directly with people. And it touches on standard five because you want to maintain ethics, fairness, and um, uh, yeah, just overall, um, when you're working directly with someone, uh, you have to be fair. And that just makes sense to me that servant leadership would meet this standard, standard five. Okay, uh, moving on here, situational leadership, another color. Um, helping people on a case-by-case -case basis, that's what situational leadership is all about, adapting to the behaviors of the followers. Um, to me, this sits perfectly in with uh, knowing culture of the, um, of the place and uh, the standard that it meets best, I feel like, is standard two in that the, um, the situation uh, and how you help people on a case-by-case -case basis, you have to know them. Um, I think the text went into, uh, I'm going to shoot myself in the foot here by not having my um, full notes, but the text goes into requiring different types of responses depending on how well the followers uh, know and can do something. Um, and so knowing the culture is increasingly an in important for a situational um, leadership approach. All right, uh, instructional leadership. 
um, helping me help you. Uh, this is one of the more popular ones, it seems like, being a resource provider, uh, using modeling as um, an instructional resource for your followers, uh, being able to communicate effectively. Uh, so clearly this hits on, and I am not joking here, I think every single one of these standards, this one, like I said, is the most popular, it seems like, and is used quite often uh, in the um, in the workplace. And so I feel like it, it meets those the whole set of the Michigan standards the best. Um, encouraging and facilitating the study of teaching and learning, facilitating collaborative efforts amongst teachers, establishing coaching relationships, using instructional research for decision making and adult learning. I mean, every single one of these, including that adult learning one, uh, the seventh standard, which I didn't write in here, but I definitely can add, the seventh standard has to do with having a mentor program. So I will add that because I didn't even realize that it wasn't there. Standard seven, mentor and intern pro. Some, it's like a program, but it seems like to me, uh, yeah, building, Level educator leader applies knowledge that promotes success of every student through a substantial and sustained educational leadership internship, internship program. And the uh, instructional, like I said at the end there, adult learning, it's important that we pass these skills on, this knowledge on to the next generation. So for example, if I'm gonna be a superintendent, it would be very nice if I could be, you know, underneath someone and learning from them uh, through them as they uh, as they progress in their career or leave their career um, some sort of you know sustainable internship program would be nice okay last one invitation invitational leadership I felt like it um, matched the let me get my last color here I felt like it matched the uh, let's do break me standard six success of every student helping anyone who wants help. So just responding to and advocating for student learning by focusing on educators' desires, understanding, and actions in order to create a total school environment that appreciates individuals in their uniqueness and calls forth their potential. So anybody that needs help, that wants help, and providing that to them um, meets this sixth standard because you're advocating for uh, student learning by helping people become um, better educators. And so my references, as you can see, are here at the bottom. I'll just circle them quickly. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope it was helpful.